So, welcome to another Dying Light 2 walkthrough video. I'm in Game Plus mode. I've just finished the cathedral and before I head all the way back to the other side of the map and head into the PK ship, I figured I would take care of this water tower. This is in the lower dam area. It is the St. Paul water tower. It will give me ability to turn this into a survivor territory. Sooner or later, we're going to head into the Heron Renegades Bandit Camp because I think that's a lot of fun to take that away from them. But meanwhile, before we go onwards, let's go ahead and turn on or activate the St. Paul Water Tower. Now, one of the wrinkles of this one is that, as you can see, there's a bunch of bandits outside. I have found the easiest way to take care of these guys is with some well-placed arrows. Let's go ahead with shock arrows. There we go. One down. Two down. Where is he running off to? That's okay. He's gone. There's the other guy. There's two of them. Yes, it might be a waste of arrows, but it's better than jumping down there and take them one directly. I got one left. Let's go use regular arrows on him. I think that is all of them. That being said, let's fly down there and begin to climb the water tower. <laughs> There's probably not much to scavenge around here. Have some dead bodies. We definitely want to go down. Looks like there's some stuff down there, but we don't really want to go down there yet. Anyway, so here we are. At the water tower. There's some things we can do to make some shortcuts. But I figure we would walk the long way around just so you can see the easy way as far as skills are concerned rather than the shortcut way of advanced skills. We need lights. Not a good place to be, but it's simple. Let's get out of here as quickly as possible. We probably could have climbed up to this platform. We also probably could have climbed up to these finger holds, but let's just go the long way around. We got some monkey bars, which takes us here. We could have just climbed up here directly again, but again, that's to go the long way. We need to go a little bit further up. There we are, can't get any further. As always, yellow helps highlight where it is that you need to go. Follow the yellow paint, yellow arrows, yellow draperies. Knock down some ladders so in case you do fall, you can get back up a bit easier. This one has some interesting ins and outs. We need to get up there. Alright, let's go back in here. <coughs> oh, this is the one. Yes, we can jump down rather than up. Oh, we've got back outside again. So we went down, we're up. We're going to climb here some hand holds, finger holds. We 
going to head back up here. And in we go. Take a quick peek around, make sure there's nothing that we're missing. Yes, there we go. In case we fall, another ladder. Give the shortcut back up. So we need to climb up. Let's climb up there. reach that so they're just fooling us we can turn on <laughs> UV generator you can get up there directly so where is it that we need to go well let's look around and look up there we go we can climb up some more <laughs> One of the dangers here is overjumping things, missing angles. What I would like to remind myself, but I don't always do, which is wander all the way out to the edges. It gives you the right angle. That's why the edges are there. This is the little tricky jump that I tend to miss. At least half the time but again taking the angles right lining yourself up properly and then we've missed oh jumped it again where were we before we found way down <laughs> It's just a really tough angle. I tend to like to miss it. I don't know why. <coughs> All right, let's try the third time as a charm. I've laughed about this one before. <coughs> it is frustratingly simple. Where are we at? We're back down. Inside, miss it on the outside. Right now, you're saying, Hey, I've already done that, coach. What are we doing next? saying goes what we want to do is land over there and we're going up to go down and now we get to go in we want to get to the other side of here taking it the easy way we could probably out jump this one but why try Down. So next time we fall down there, we can get out much easier. This one is fun because we're going to hit the monkey bars and hit the cage. If you watch some of my other videos, you talk about how I really do not like cage jumps either. Let's get up higher. I'm across. Now this is a bit trickier. You want to jump over there. And 
Don't try to jump directly there because it will get in your way unless you time it just right when you swung near there. Alright, we're in. Another UV generator. We're not done yet, as you can see. That was just a temporary side quest. We need to go up one more. And there we go, one more jumping bar. Which way we want to go? Looks like we want to go this way. Make the jump as short as possible. Need to go out again. anything to pick up. In this case, there are a few things to pick up. Another smartphone. Anything else here? We'll go ahead and pick before we turn it over. It always reminds you that before you turn these over to a faction, finish scavenging. here. Oh, interesting little sign saying, go over here and turn this on. Not yet, but we've got a crate. All right, so now we're ready to turn this over to a faction. Again, I talked about I give the first four to the PK so I can get my crossbow, which I've done. And after that, then we will slowly begin to turn it over to the survivors. We'll get three, which will get us a few different things to help us as we run around the city. As well as make the survivors happy and saying nasty things to us. You get to turn it over to whichever faction you want to turn it over to and take care of it when you take care of it. Sorry for the misses, but occasionally that happens. Follow through the video, it should get you up. Easy time, enjoy it. If you have any questions, drop me a comment. If something else you want to see, go ahead and subscribe. And let me know what you like and don't like. Have a great day.